People want to say that black lives matter, but we gonna show them that it matters. I don't want to say that black lives matter. We need to develop a politic that shows that black people matter, that black power matters, and that power resides within the within the people. No Teslas, no peace. No racists, no peace. Today I walk in solidarity with the Black Student Union at UC Berkeley. I'm an alum of the Black Student Union as well. We fought for 10 demands for institutional change on that campus, but we still see the racism on that campus. But I come from a long tradition where the Black Student Union on UC Berkeley's campus has fought by any means necessary to overthrow these systems of oppression. And that's what we say, by any means necessary, we'll overthrow these systems of oppression. We have to understand what's going on right now, and we have to be very clear about the politics that is happening. This is terrorism. This is a terrorist attack against the black community. Ever since the first enslaved African landed on this country, we have been catching hell by white supremacy. Our 9-11 is every day for the past 400 years. We've experienced 9-11 every day for the past 400 years. The murder and the execution of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Tony McDay was a terrorist attack. And we have to say, we are done with police terrorism. We are fighting against police terrorism. We are fighting against the police. We are fighting against the FBI. We are fighting against the DEA. We are fighting against ICE. We are fighting against the National Guard. All of these motherfuckers is pigs. I walk in the spirit of the black radical tradition where we call to abolish the police. Where we call to abolish all of these systems that oppress us. There's a reason why we're here in Berkeley, California, where Kayla Moore was brutally executed in the same way that Eric Garner was murdered. In the same way that George Floyd was murdered. But because of her status as a black trans woman, and because she had mental health issues, we don't say her name. So say her name, Kayla Moore. Kayla Moore. Kayla Moore. Kayla Moore! Kayla Moore! Kayla Moore! Kayla Moore! Liberation comes when we all band together. I, I'm, I'm interested in black power, to keep it honest. I can't rely on, on, on white people. I'm, I'm keeping a band. I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all. What y'all can do is educate your own people. But we preach is black power, the politics of liberation. You feel me? So that's where we coming from. We need a politic of liberation in order for us all to be free. We can't just say black men is gonna be free. We can't just say black straight women is gonna be free. It gotta be all of us. We gotta do it for the thugs. We gotta do it for the sex workers. We gotta do it for those who are incarcerated. It is all of us and none of us. I'm also reminded today, and I don't wanna get on nobody bad side, but we gotta be clear about what's going on. It ain't a revolution. I gotta tell the truth. We gotta be clear about what a, mo a movement is versus what a moment is. And right now we is in a moment. But it is our duty to make this into a movement, a liberation movement. You know, I was excited when I seen people protesting, people resisting, people breaking windows of these capitalist pigs. I was excited. But at the same time, we are seeing counter-revolutionary forces come and co-opt a movement. We had black people doing the cha-cha slide with police officers. We have people dancing with the National Fucking Guard who came in to kill you. That is a counterinsurgent, that is a tactic, that is psychological warfare. The military goes to Iraq and teaches Iraqi youth the Macarena as a means to appease the rebellions that was happening in Iraq. This is why we need to be educated, and this is why we need to have black radical politics, black revolutionary politics, the politics of liberation. We can't fight capitalism with black capitalism, we fight capitalism with socialism, because we understand that capitalism is a system that we are fighting. I realize that there's a lot of people out here today, and I think that shit is important. What we gotta realize is the difference between mobilization and organization. We are all probably here with the same issue. We say fuck police brutality, right? 
But that's kind of a, a, a you know, we could just say fuck police brutality, but what does that do? We just want the brutality to end. We want the police to end. We need to abolish the police. We need to defund the police. All of these systems have to go if we want to be free. And that's why we need political education, because some people might say, hey, hey, Blake, we, we might need some black cops. And the black cops kill black people at the same rate as white cops. You cannot, there's no such thing as a good cop in this racist system, because if there's a good cop in this racist system, that means you're saying a good, there's a good slave patrol. This system is rooted in slave patrols. The first sheriff badges, slave patrols. We are talking about abolishing that police department right there. We are talking about taking that shit over. That is the politics that we come from, and that is the politics that, come, that will get us free. We don't need another black president. A black president in the White House that was built by slaves? What a fucking contradiction. Do I need to remind people that this Black Lives Matter movement started under Barack Obama? Barack Obama who bombed millions of people in the Middle East. Barack Obama who bombed millions of people on the continent. Barack Obama who told people in Ferguson and people in Baltimore to stop looting, to stop acting like thugs. He said the same shit that Donald Trump said, but the difference is because, you know, Obama and Jay-Z, you know, they shake hands, they play some basketball, it's all cool, we look past it. Obama's a fascist just like every other president in this country has been. And I know we're in an election, and I know people say fuck Trump, but you know what, fuck Biden too, period. White supremacy is like an octopus, it has hella different tentacles. You cut off one, another one grows, and there's still a bunch of tentacles. We gotta cut the whole octopus off, but the whole octopus has to be abolished. The Democrats and the Republicans, that's all propaganda. It's like a bird. The left wing is a, a fucking Democrat, and the right wing is a Republican. The same bird, and they all flap together for the fly. You feel me? We gotta get rid of these motherfuckers in this entirety. So quit telling me to vote. I ain't voting for no uh, de Democrat. <laughs> Fuck the Democrats, period. I ain't fucking with no blue Democrat. I ain't fucking with none of that shit at all. Why well, fuck with a Democrat? This got us what we got in right here. OPD, full of Democrats. City of Berkeley, full of Democrats. Berkeley is named after a fucking slave owner. We won't even change the name of the city y'all love so fucking much. Poison is poison, whether it's red or blue. And we gotta understand that poison will kill you. Some might be faster and some might be slower. But fuck Joe Biden, fuck the presidency, fuck the White House, and fuck America. We have to be very clear and very honest about what a revolution actually is. I said this ain't a revolution because every revolution has took bloodshed. Every revolution is called to violence against these systems. And we have to rethink if that's even violence. Is it violent that I defend my humanity? Is it violent if a pig attacks me that I attack back? That is me saying I am a human fucking being and I'm gonna assert my humanity by any means necessary. We need a material revolution. Take all the money and fund it into housing for black homeless people, for black houseless people. Take it and put the money for black addiction centers. You feel me? Take it where we have social services, people's programs that take care of the material needs of our community. We are in a material revolution. We don't care about reform. We need material revolution. And the spirit of the Black Panther Party. People's programs, that's what is we, what we need. So I'm gonna end before they cut my mic. I'm surprised they haven't cut it already yet. But, you know, I, I'm a family member of Jaleel Muntakeem, one of the longest held political prisoners in the United States of America. He was a part of the Black Panther Party. He was incarcerated at 18 years old. He's been incarcerated for 49 fucking years. He was fighting for my black ass before I was even born. He was fighting for your black ass before you was born. He was fighting even for your white ass before you was even born. This movement cannot forget about our elders who are still incarcerated. We still have Black Panthers incarcerated. We still have Black Liberation Army members still incarcerated to this day. We cannot forget about political prisoners because when we talk about political prisoners, those rights become for all prisoners. When we fight for political prisoners, those rights become for all prisoners. So when I say free, y'all say Jaleel. Free, free, 
free. All power to the people.